hello friends uh, welcome to shift ultimate today i will tell you how to create table view with multiple custom cells without storyboard so let's start uh, first we take table view and set its constant uh, after that uh, we create IV outlet and connect it to table view and uh, connect data source to files owner and delegates to files owner okay uh, after that uh, we take a file that subclass of UIT will use L image custom cell and also created XIV file next and we have one custom cells and need to take other custom cell also and first custom cell set the classes custom cells and click on second table you cell set is class as custom cell and click on first custom cell and set its identifier cell custom cell one which is the identifier and make sure uh, identifier of uh, two different custom cell should not be same and and we taking custom cell identifier too and uh, height we take height 70 and uh, second is 50 okay. take this view 70 uh, 60 by 60 and take a level This is the title and subtitle and this description. Okay, and uh, this is for uh, first custom cell and and for. Cell. Okay. 
okay and take label is title And after that, we create IBO relates for both cells. And we created uh, IV outlets for controls of custom cells. Now connect for item image one. That's subtitle label and title label one and description label. Okay, and and after that click on custom cell two and connect its i will i be outlets also title level 2 and atom image 2 okay after that uh, we have a uh, code for that like this We have a code. Uh, uh, first, we create ex extension of uh, view controller, and that extend UI table, view delegate, and data source, and number of sections. We set number of sections to and uh, number of rows in section. In se if section is zero and five, and uh, other row is ten. Okay. After that, uh, for section one. We create an uh, identifier. This is custom cell one, and this is for uh, custom cell one. Uh, we can say that this is this is for custom cell one. This is identifier for it is the uh, the custom cell one identifier is uh, for uh, first custom cell. Then after that we create a cell object and. Uh, Check the uh, cell is nil or not, and after that, we take a nib file and uh, set its zero position. Here, we are taking the old nibs file of the custom cells and we are getting at the zero position. At the zero position, and this is uh, custom cell at zero position, and this is at one position. So we can take this cells and after that we create a identifier of second custom cells and that's custom uh, that identifier is custom cell 2 you can see here this custom cell 2 and the identifier is custom cell 2 and uh, same process and here we take a uh, new files at of one position that is on one position okay and uh, we set here height of the uh, row uh, you can say here you can see here that height is 
17 and and second custom cell height is 50 so we take uh, for first custom cells 70 another is 50 that is the whole code is the whole code and now we need to set image for custom cells uh, cell load item image one image named uh, I have already two images uh, image one and image two and set the name of image image one and set the image for second custom cells and check uh, you can see here uh, two custom cells uh, within single table view and uh, I hope uh, this video will be very helpful for you and thanks for watching